Let's play this league. Uh, let's make sure that we have the correct list. Hollow Breach 5 0 list. Uh, actually, this isn't necessarily the 5 0 list. This is Hollow Breach. Uh, Agro Hollow Breach. Rather than Combo Hollow Breach. Uh. Agro Hollow Breach. Let's do it. Alright, welcome people to the stream. Uh, let's play this league. This is our current deck list at the moment. Uh, there was a 5 0 list earlier today that is this list. Uh, what we took from this is we took basically the Goblin Bushwhacker, Flame Blade, Adept, and Flame Wake Phoenix. These are the things that we incorporated into our deck. Or more so, we incorporated into this a better sideboard plan with uh, Ancient Grudge and uh, Nature's Claim for uh, hate pieces that are against us. Um, other than that, we didn't really take out much. We just updated the sideboard. Uh, we are also playing a Leyline of Sanctity in the sideboard, which I've been fairly impressed with. Uh, not only does it help us against, like, Thoughtseize control decks like Death Shadow, it also helps us against uh, Bajuka Bog out of, uh, what's it called, um, Amulet. Alright, this hand is awkward, but it's a keep. This Forgotten Cave is super awkward. We're only playing the one of... Because the the five O list played four Forgotten Caves, which I wasn't that impressed by, or I like to tap land. Like cycling probably doesn't seem that great, so we're trying it out. Out, of, we're trying a one of, and it really doesn't look great here. But we're gonna keep anyways. So I guess worst case scenario, we turn one add up, turn two. Bolt something, play Tapland. Alright, we're against Tron. Which used to be a fine matchup for the original Hollow One deck, because we were just so much faster. Alright, cool, we hit a land. We're gonna go Cathartic Reunion, pitching Forgotten Cave Flame Wake Phoenix. It's awkward. I'm not sold on this Cathartic Reunion in, in this deck. Let's just hope that they stumble a turn. Otherwise, this hand is definitely too slow. What what did they keep? They kept a 7? 6? Uh, they began with, began with 7. Alright, so their hand is nuts. <laughs> Let's mute that. Alright, oh, never mind. Their hand isn't nuts. Alright, so we get an extra turn. Come on, Goblin Lore. Or Burning Inquiry. Ooh, a fetch. That's fine. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna go... I actually think now we fetch, discard a Mountain Phoenix... Uh, life total doesn't matter too much. Does do our basics matter? Let's just get a mountain. Definitely casting this cathartic reunion, discarding phoenix and something else. Uh, what is that something else? <clears throat> so, this promises us our third land drop. Yeah, let's just Yeah, let's just discard the Forgotten Cave. It's really awkward. Alright, well we have triple bolt. I guess that helps a little bit. We have a goblin lore, which is gas.
We're probably just gonna go like triple bolt them next turn, then try to goblin lore into ox. Is that or is that bad? <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Or maybe we just go bolt goblin lore, hope to keep these two bolts in hand, hope to discard the ox. Urza's Tower. Sphere, sure. Alright, so they're gonna have Tron next turn. Most likely. I'm surprised they kept a 7 and played Forest on turn 2. Ooh, Steamkin, does that... Alright, does that change anything? We're still definitely playing this mountain. We, oh, we can go Goblin Lore, get back Flame Wake Phoenix. Hope to keep three bolts. We could go Steamkin, bolt you. Put a counter. Oh, that doesn't seem good. I think in this matchup, unless we have Steamkin on turn two, it's not going to be great. So yeah, let's just keep these bolts in hand and hope to get them... Later in the game. Alright, alright, cool. Uh, let's go to combat. Get back a Phoenix. Attack you for 6. Put you to 11. And smell a Karn coming our way. Let's just hope for not Ugin and not Worm Coil. Oh, they're not immediately playing a land, which is good. All right, there we go. They found it. Ugin, Karn, Ugin, sure, gross, and it exiles, which sucks. Oh, uh, we can bolt it if they exile minus. Oh wait, we can't bolt it if they exile minus three. Ugh. Yup, that sucks. Okay, flame blade adept. Like you go adept, bolt, bolt, Ugin, and cry. <laughs> uh, we can't even get our flame wake phoenix back because it's exiled. Uh, underworld breach doesn't do anything here. Yeah, I think we're just gonna deal with Ugin. Hope to land this adept. And cry. That's too bad. Like if we goblin lore, find a land, we could then ox. Cause then they just bolt it with Ugin, yeah. We need to get, get Ugin off the table. Worst case scenario we get to ox next turn. Alright, alright. We do have the combo in hand. We just need mana. I'm really not liking this combo in the deck when we don't have uh, either Rituals or Stinkweed Imps. So what are we listening to? Let's skip this. Alright, so they didn't immediately play something. So it's either amazing for us or horrible. They either have too many options or they are hating themselves. Three mana? What is this? Sylvan Scrying? Sure. Alright, this is good. Getting Sanctum of Ugin? Or is this tower? Okay, so six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mana? Oh, O Stone. Sure. O Stone with enough to crack. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Yup. That's gross. We found the land. Hmm. Definitely playing the this land. Yeah, 
If we go goblin lore, goblin lore, that's six, seven man, seven damage forces them to pop the O stone. Let's goblin lore once first. See what that gets us. Hopefully it gets us some hollow ones, so we can just combat. Alright, got us one hollow one. What did we discard? Did we discard any... No, we didn't discard anything great. Um, well, if we play this hollow one here, they're just going to pop their O-stone again. Could gamble and try and burning inquiry. <laughs> Keep the hollow one, like, kind of, like, somewhat force them to pop. Our odds would be 50% to keep a hollow one. Or maybe just getting in four damage is good enough. And playing a hollow one then forces them to do that, and then we just try an ox. Yeah. Let's see if this gets them to do that or if we just get into free four damage. Because they're almost certainly doing this at the end of turn if we play this hollow one. I kind of just want a Burning Inquiry, Burning Inquiry, just to fuel our graveyard for Oxes. So that gets 6 cards into the graveyard, that gets us 20. So minus Ox, that's, is that exactly enough for... Because 8 and 8 is 16. It gets us enough. We find another Ox. kind of like that. Do this thing. Fill our graveyard. Since this adept's not going to be here. <laughs> oh, right. We Alright, we discarded the other burning inquiry, which sucks. Oh, that's fine. Now we have exactly enough to ox twice. Pop it. Pop it. Yeah. Oh. Alright, they're not. Okay. So we're probably just dead. How many bolt? We don't have any more bolts left in our deck. Right? No, we have one bolt left. So we need to find four damage somehow. Let's see, they have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Thirteen mana or fourteen mana, so they can carn. No, oh, okay, they're just gonna crack it. O stone main phase. I'm confused. Oh, they have another O stone. Oh, they just wanna. I'm confused of what they're doing. Alright, so they're just digging for something. They still have three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, they can't cast Karn. Cool. They can still cast Warm Coil Engine, which sucks. Alright, cool. They have Karn. Another us. Oh, Thrag. Oh, no. Main deck Thrag Tusk. <sighs> Yikes. Okay, sure. Uh, another land? Gross. Alright, uh... Let's fetch. Get a mountain. Do the ox thing. Exiling one, two, three, four. 
Actually, wait, we have, um, how many Underworld Breaches we have? We have one, two, we have three left in the deck. All right, let's get rid of these lands. Uh, let's get rid of these Underworld Breaches because we're not casting those. Let's get rid of these, um, that Forgotten Cave, that Cathartic Reunion. Yeah, that's fine. If we find Underworld Breach... We can Underworld Breach, Gob, or Burning Inquiry, cast a Hollow One. Oh, we found the Bolt, and we found a Street Wraith. Um, definitely cycling this. Seeing what we get. Oh, another Ox. That's nice. Yeah, I kind of just like casting Flaming Phoenix attacking. Yeah, it seems fine. Oh, that... Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Alright. That was a punt. Mm. Should not have clicked through that. Alright, now I guess... This lightning bolt will deal with Karn. When they go to exile... Oh, they go to exile our ox, we can bolt our ox. That's funny. Alright, punt count of the day is at one. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll just use this bolt somewhere. Let's see what they do first. They're gonna cast sure once upon a time. Are they gonna are they trying to find another Thrag Tusk? Oh, Worm Coil Engine. Alright, I think we just lose to that. Yep, we weren't fast enough to get through the O Stone. And then they still have enough to cast Worm Coil, sure. We can exile that, let's bolt this. And then hope to have enough to, like, go ox, ox. And play a bunch of things? Ugh. Casting a worm coil engine. We're almost assuredly dead. But let's just see if we can not put a billion hollow ones into play. It's an adept. But I think we're just gonna ox. That's just ox. Getting rid of Goblin Lore, Goblin Lore, Land, Land, Street Wraith, uh, Flame Blade Adept, Steamkin. Steam can, sure, it's fine. Get an ox, discard these. See what we can find. All right, cycle the street wraith. Gross. Um. Uh, is this all of our? I think that's all of our lands. Five basic? Yeah, five basics. Five basics. So you gotta like shock that ox. Hope to find something for two mana. Cause if we ox find underworld breach, cast underworld breach, we could only cast one hollow one. And then we're not even get Flame Wake Phoenixes back. Yeah, we're just gonna concede. Let's go to game two. Alright, um. We're bringing in Blood Moons. We're bringing in. Two Ancient Grudges. A Braid? Is a Braid better than Nature's Claim in this? 
does uh, Tron run Leyline of the Void? No, they. I don't think there's enough graveyard stuff for them to run Leyline of the Void anymore. Um. Oh, thanks, Harian, for the follow. That's a mate. That's awesome. Um. Probably just bring in like one nature's claim. This is making me want to go to three ancient grudges in the board. Well, three blood moon is probably enough. All right, we can take out these bolts. They're not good enough. Um, kind of just on the flame blade add up, try to get out hollow ones as fast as possible. Plan. The cathartic reunions have been very underwhelming for me. Maybe go like keep in one bolt, take out two cathartic and a bolt all cathartics. Ugh. No, let's keep one cathartic in, take out a bolt. Take out all four bolts, two cathartic. Seems fine. Maybe we're supposed to keep in those cathartics just to dig for Blood Moon. Uh, we're gonna play first. Um, this hand's awkward. We're gonna mulligan it. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good. Mulligan. Well, we have Blood Moon on turn three with Ancient Grudge. Let's keep it. Uh, question is, I think we're bottoming Underworld Breach. Goblin lore. <laughs> Ancient Grudge, their expedition map, turn one. Blood Moon them on turn two. Seems fine. We have 18 lands in our deck. What are the odds that if we just bottom a land, we'll draw another one? We could play safe. And... Discard, Breach, Goblin Lore. Or we could be greedy and discard this uh, Stomping Ground and Underworld Breach. Definitely Underworld Breach. Um, no, let's just dis let's bottom that Goblin uh, No, yeah, let's get rid of the Goblin Lore. Let's be babies. We're going to be babies. I think the math works in our favor. I think we're like more than 60 to 70% to draw land in two draw steps, but let's just not risk it. Hers is mine. Chromatic star. Sure. We're still going to Ancient Grudge that. Well, that's a... That's a draw. Going to do that thing. Oh, right. They still get to draw a card, which is awkward. Oh, well. Yeah, maybe that was really bad. Maybe we're just supposed to wait. Hopefully this isn't a hate piece. Oh no, yeah. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> alright, don't Ancient Grudge their Chromatic Star on turn one. Noted. Let's hope this Blood Moon gets there. Oh, that's interesting. Blood Moon, yeah. Hope you can't Chromatic Star for an answer. He's probably just gonna cast a <laughs> Thrag Tusk turn 5 or something. We're gonna cry. They have the basic forest, Ancient Stirring, sure. Power Plant, yep.
relic, yep. Sure, I'll exile the foothills. Right. Burning inquiry. Yeah, alright. Uh let's hope to get a hollow one into play. That's a hollow one. Um Let's cast an underworld breach to get a hollow one. This forces them to Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> Oops. Alright. <laughs> Punt count two for the day. Oh well this probably wasn't doing anything anyways. It was just well, it was a discard fodder to Burning Inquiry. Alright, we're on the 4-4 plan. Red mana? Oh. Duh. Blood Moon. <laughs> Make a green. And once upon a time again. See, they play. No, they still have a power plant in hand. All right, they found the Thrag Tusk. Ugh. All right, we played this match poorly. Probably, they probably still win. I don't think we're nearly as fast enough anymore to actually deal with them. We don't go wide enough. Double Blood Moon. I mean, plays around the nature's claim, I guess. Double Blood Moon, yeah. This was also a mulligan to five, so. Eh. Here comes Thrag Tusk. Yep. So they're going to have a 3 3 to deal with. Or we're going to have a 3-3 to deal with. Exile this forgotten cave. And we probably still won't be able to kill them before they, like, eventually Karn on turn 7. That's a dead card. We'll lose in this race, but let's at least try. <laughs> oh, the trade. Okay, cool. Trading. Right, we know they still have one card in hand. Oh, another cage? Okay. Alright, let's just concede to the second Thrag Tusk. Yep. Alright. Let's go for another game. Uh, Actually, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get myself a drink. Be back in like a minute. All right, I'm back. Let's play a league match. Well, that was fast. Let's be on the play. Hey, 
Hey, we're on the play. Cool. Good spirit monger. <clears throat> this hand is... Uh, slow? We're probably still just supposed to keep it. Turn to Goblin Lore, puts a Phoenix in the bin and a Hollow One into play. Sure, let's try it. We got an enabler and we got some threat. What? The fuck is this shit? Okay, I, I guess. Why though? Why? Okay. Um. Go get a basic. Pass. Oh, that was that was bad. Should have just played it and passed. I forgot we don't have a turn one play. <laughs> you wanna? Oh, okay. I guess. Are there a bunch of Underworld Breach decks and going around right now? Well, let's thin the deck a bit more. Get that point zero zero two percent. Yeah. <laughs> Lamau indeed. Let's just hope to get all four hollow ones and show them. Show them what's up. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I guess we're on turn three casting Flame Wake Phoenix plan. Is this Mardu Pyro? Are we about to get collective brutality? Dark confidant, sure. Um, we're just like, ugh. like we want to bolt it, or do we like try and make him take damage from it? Ugh, this is like. <laughs> Bolt it, kick a bushwhacker, get in for two. Ah! <laughs> That's awful. Guess we're on hardcast ox plan. I don't see us having the mana to actually like bushwhacker and make it relevant, so let's go bolt that. Bushwhacker kick it. Cry. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> right, they're missing their land drops, which is good. That's a bad draw. I think we're going to actively not play that in case it draws them into lands. Yeah, combat. Probably going to bolt this. <clears throat> bolt, bolt this, push this. Oh, nothing? Okay, sure. Alright, they found a land. Alright, there's here comes Lingering Souls. Not Lingering Souls. Shocking? Is this an Anger of the Gods? <laughs> Why? All right, is this like... Anger of the Gods in your Dark Confidant deck? What is this? What year is this? That's a card. Uh, now we like... World's worst burning inquiry, 50% chance to keep a hollow. That's like 25% chance to keep the Phoenix and a hollow one. <clears throat> so we're just casting Flame Wake Phoenix and then hard casting this. 
No, we're cycling this hollow one on their end step. I guess. What what are they what are they playing? What do they have five cards that don't do anything in hand? Like I don't burning inquiry is so bad when we don't get to put things in our graveyard. Let's just hard cast Phoenix. Oh yeah, we can't cycle this hollow one. Alright, whatever, it's fine. Hopefully next turn we'll either get a land to hard cast this hollow one or something in Burning Inquiry to hopefully keep the hollow one. Liliana of the Veil, sure. Yep, sacrifice the creature. What do we get? A land. Alright, cool. Cool beans. Let's play around Field of Ruin, get a stomping ground. Cast a hollow one for retail. And have it get sacked to their second Liliana of the Veil. Discard this burning inquiry to Lily. Main deck ley line Y. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, so they are like Mardu Pyro. They're Red Black Pyro. With, with anger? No. What Red Black Control with Leyline in the main? Well, they're in Bolt range. We can still draw to triple. Oh, oh no! Discard it. Oh no. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, maybe we should have seen that K command coming. Gross. <laughs> uh, Cathartic Reunion being awful again. Opponent fetching in our main phase. One more turn to draw a bolt to this lily. Yup. They discarded a bolt, sure. Season pyro, sure. Oh, they're playing Karn the Great. Ooh. All right, their deck is kind of spicy. Make a sack the hollow one, so let's cycle it. Yeah, let's just go let's just go to the next game. Ugh. Alright, so they have ley line. We didn't see any discard from them, but they probably have dis yeah, they almost definitely have discard. Cut. Bumble, cut uh, Bushwhacker. Steam can seem awful. Let's get rid of all the Steamkins, I guess. Actually, let's keep in two Steamkins to get rid of two Cathartic Reunions. These Cathartic Reunions are just, like, not good. Why did I ever think they were okay to play in all of one? <laughs> Difference between two and three cards is massive. This is only good when it says dredge three. <laughs> it's the only time Cathartic Reunion is ever good. Hopefully this will prove me wrong, but... Uh, their Blood Moon deck with Leyline. Oh yeah, also this Forgotten Caves is awful. 
or changing this, I think. Unless there's a situation where it's relevant. But I don't think it's ever relevant for, like, one more damage or... What, three mana? To make a hollow one free with Cathartic Reunion, Forgotten Cave? Maybe that's worth? I don't see how they got away with playing four in their main deck with 5-0. Uh, we're gonna keep. This is amazing. Keep. We just need a discard outlet. If this were a discard outlet, we'd still keep, but... If this were anything but a Nature's Claim or a discard outlet, I think we're supposed to mulligan it. Turn zero ley line me, bro. I dare ya. Hey, all right, they did it. Cool. Oh, I should change my stream phobe. We're not hollow storm. We are hollow. Uh, we're kind of hollow storm. We're hollow. We're hollow breach. God dang, can I not? Can't actually do it on my computer. It's tilting. Whatever. Hollow storm testing. Fine. <laughs> Thought sees me, bro. Yes, I would like to pay two life. I would like to destroy target ley line. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Well, that sucks. Let's get the mountain. Let's play the hollow one. Or the flame blade add up and pass, I guess. This is going to get bolted or fatal push. Guarantee you. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Our comp on, yep. Another nature's claim? That's awful. Sure. Looks like we're gonna lose this matchup. <laughs> K command? Ugh. Yeah. Alright, so now this hollow one's like absolutely awful. If they thought sees us, we're cycling this trying to find a land. I think we might just cycle it, try to find a land. Or try and find, like, uh, like an enabler. Collect brutality. We take our nature's claim, yeah. Our draws have been rough. I just wanna just wanna cycle this hollow one. Alright. Cool. Come on, land. <laughs> oh no, deck. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Not looking good, not looking good. Field of Ruin? Alright. Where's the Field of Ruin? Season Pyro, sure. Discarding two non lands. Blood Moon. Alright, they kept the Blood Moons in? Sure. Chandra of Torch of Defiance. Yep. Surprised they didn't keep that in their hand. Draw a castable. It's gonna get K commanded. 
probably nothing else we can do. Probably just dead. Our trials have been awful. <laughs> Sure, Marsh Flats. Just need to draw like one enabler. Just one burning inquiry. That's all we need. And then we have a shot of getting back into this. Maybe we're supposed to mulligan that hand because we didn't have an enabler, but like we had the hollow one. We had the add up and we hit. No, we were, we were definitely supposed to keep that. Season Pyro. Yep. Discard Dark Confidant Field of Ruin. Make a dude. Yep. Here, play the Marsh Flats. Gonna get in with. Alright. Ugh. I think we're just supposed to trade with this Dark Confidant. As much as it pains me. Gets a card in the bin for Ox. Gets rid of their Bob. Stinkin. Yeah, we're, we're dead. Gross, losing to the main deck Leyline deck. Okay. <laughs> Hello everybody that's uh, coming to the stream, I can show you our deck list. We are currently uh, playing a deck that's based off of the 5-0 deck list that was dumped today, which was this. Um, Forgotten Cave is ass, uh, at least in my experience. We're playing one in this list. Um, this isn't the exact list, we're basically, we're splashing green for Nature's Claim and Ancient Grudge in the sideboard. We're playing, and we're playing Leyline of Sanctity in the sideboard. Um... I think that's the only change. Uh, main deck is, I think we're playing it one less land plus one, plus one cathartic reunion, something like that. Uh, but we found a match, so let's start playing. All right, we can still salvage this. We can still go three two. So far, it's felt like we can have powerful hands. Just maybe we're just low rolling on the variants. Hopefully, we're just low rolling on the variants. We're against Ivan Guile. Gile. Guili? What magic card is that? I don't recognize that art. Oh, scrambled dinosaur. Uh, <laughs> I think we're supposed to keep this hand. We get five, six cards into the bin. Yeah, sure, why not? We have an enabler, and we have two street wraiths. <laughs> I should actually do the math on what the odds are to get a hollow one out of this, but... And we get a draw step. Union, sure. Uh, let's go cycle first, hit lands, hopefully. Cycle, cycle... Not great. Let's go burning inquiry. Uh, let's put a phoenix in the yard, which is fine. We're probably just going to run out a Steamkin on turn two and try and see what that does. Opt? Yeah. All right. Oh, we're against Blue Moon. It's card a Bolt adjacent to Opt. So we didn't hit any of their lands, which is unfortunate. Want something good. Ugh, Forgotten Cave? That's awful. Um... Like, cause we don't want to play this here. Oh, maybe we'll cycle it later. Let's pay two life. Let's cast a steamkin <clears throat> and hope it doesn't die. Let's see how good value steamkin is. Cause I could definitely just see like replacing this with blood gas again in the list. 
go back to like 2018. They're debating on bolting here. Or maybe they're just AFK. Event staff, yep. <clears throat> Narset, oh, that's gross. Narset surprisingly effective against us. All right, what are they getting? Oh, we can, never mind. We won't, no, we can, uh, play make Phoenix. Kill Narset. Ugh. It's also just awful. Another bolt. Uh, we can... Bolt Narset. Tap Forgotten Cave. Or no, we can bolt Narset. Discard Flame Wake Phoenix and Forgotten Cave to Cathartic Reunion. Let's do that. And then Runaway Steamkin just gets bolted. That's kind of unfortunate. But we don't have any way to get two more one mana spells, unfortunately. I would like to pay two life. Let's go do this thing. Discard those two. Skip this. Okay, sure. Tacky for three. Have our steam can bolted. Ugh. This is a very bad enabler at getting, uh, what's it called? Getting ferocious. Probably just gonna play land pass, keep up bolt plus uh cryptic command. Ew, Mitch matching. Sure. Or they're gonna leave up Archmage's term. Another ancestral vision, sure. Bolt yep. Ooh, an adept. Okay, we're gonna go Steam can adept, hold up lightning bolt. Sure. Play into the anger of the gods. <laughs> Do they have deprive? They're gonna just start drawing a billion cards. You know what? Yeah, we they cast the bolt that we knew about. Cast an adept. <coughs> Put a counter. Pass the turn. Hopefully we can just outvalue them with by casting Oxen, but that's doubtful. What's this? Petty theft? Gross. Sure. Oh, it's not this turn. It's next turn? Yeah, it's next turn. Oh, that's not the thing. Uh, that's the thing. Sure, opt. Put it on the bottom. Another Ancestral Vision? Sure. But hills, so we can, like, cast an Ox here. Discard two cards, make this three power. Draw three. It's an Ox into play. I like that better than just Steamkin holding up Bolt. Let's, let's do that.
Get a mountain. At least try and not get bolt snap bolted out of the game. Didn't find hollow ones, unfortunately. Don't have the mana for those. Attack for three. Let's get him. Alright, Blue Moon used to be our best matchup back when we were playing Blood Ghasts. Now he's just going to draw a billion cards? Sure. <clears throat> Fortunately, Brazen Borrower doesn't block anything that we have. Oh no, it blocks the um, Flame Wake Phoenixes. Oh, I really don't like Cathartic Green. Ooh, that's a good draw. Um, okay. I kind of just want to run out this Underworld Breach. Let's see, what would we cast from our graveyard? We'd cast a Burning Inquiry. This is like, basically, they have to counter this. If they have a Mana Leak, we probably just let them Mana Leak it. Uh, let's just play the land. Underworld Breach. If they counter this, then we Burning Inquiry. Is it going to be Cryptic Tap? Oh, Remand. That's awkward, but sure. Let's try it again. It's going to get Mana Leaked. Remand again, sure. Alright. Do they have a spell pierce? No, let's just... Uh, we just go to combat? Oh, uh, well, if they have a bolt, then we don't get the phoenixes back. So this guarantees us one phoenix back. get some damage in. So they just had like double remand there in their hand. Alright, let's get one of these back. Nope. Attack for ten, but you to in bolt range. Alright. Alright, looking good. Looking good. They get to draw a bunch of cards, but we we just have random win the game at instant speed. <coughs> I'm confused. Oh, they <laughs> they had another ancestral vision. Sure. Uh, let's go to combat. Make you tap our team and draw a card. Now they're gonna wait for this to resolve first. Pay the red. All right, so we're they're dead. Cryptic. Lightning bolt you in response. Cool. We won a game. Yes. <laughs> Against a deck that did literally nothing. All right. Uh, bring in a braid, ancient grudge, ancient grudge, and one nature's claim. Because usually they have like relics and damping spheres. They play blood moon, so we're not bringing in blood moon. Um, ley lines aren't good. They don't run hand attack. Ley line of the void's not good enough. Because just gets rid of snapcaster, that's it. Um, let's bring in, we just like do this, take out Bolt, Bolt, Cathartic, Cathartic, I just, no, actually, I just don't want any Cathartics in our deck, bring in, bring in the Abrade, 
It's really a torrential gear hulk. So does this. Hmm. Is this two mana? Yeah, no, let's just bring in Fair Nature's Claim. Which just keep three bolts in. Let's not overboard. Let's just do it like this. Because bolt deals with Jace as well. Uh, let's do it like this. I like this. Let's see. Leyline check. Who thinks they have Leyline? This hand's good. Two goblin lures? Sure, let's keep it. Alright, no Leyline, cool. Let's go. Fetch land pass. <coughs> Tap steam vents, yep. <clears throat> oh! Alright, the running thing in the ice. That's very scary. Yep. We don't have Fatal Push in our deck to deal with that anymore. Yikes. I would not like to pay two life. Alright, so that bounces Hollow One, which is scary, but alright. This can get Force Negation, which would suck. So much. Alright, it's getting force negation. Oh, it's not. Ooh. Alright, they discarded... Oh, right, it was a Goblin Lord. Yeah, well... Uh, let's cast two Hollow Ones. And hope that they can't bounce in the ice too quickly. Hmm. Don't be Manamorphos. I don't think, yeah, their deck can't afford to run Manamorphos. Narset? Okay. That's very awkward. Actually, that's fine. We get to kill Narset. Magmat. Ooh! Alright. They know what's up. That card's, that card's, that card's cool. Hmm. Let's go fetch for a basic. Actually, that's awkward. We want the cards in our graveyard, but we also just don't want to run out of, like, fetchable targets. Because <laughs> we have three fetchable targets in our hand. So we'll be left with one basic mountain left in our deck. Um, let's see... Just go to combat, get a Flame Week Phoenix back, attack, attack, Narset for... Yeah, because they probably won't block with their thing in the ice. Definitely don't want to burn an Inquiry pre-combat. Pre Pay red. Yes. Attack. 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 We're definitely fine if they block the thing in the ice here. Which they're not, yeah. Yeah, we burning inquiry. Our hand didn't change. <laughs> uh they Oh, they're blue alright, they're blue red taking turns. That's good to know. Um they still have magmatic sinkhole, which we turned on, unfortunately. But that's fine. 
Next turn, we're going to be able to aux. Yep, aux. Go ahead. What is this? Is this the sinkhole? Oh, it's another thing. Oh no! Uh oh, we're we're pretty dead. We're almost very dead. Ooh. Let's see. Are we nature's claiming or? own hollow one? I don't think so. So they're only rem able to remove one counter. Which they're almost certainly going to be able to remove multiple counters. They have a spell pierce in hand. Hmm. You can f they're going to magmatic sinkhole here. That's what we know they're going to do. That's a bolt. Alright. Well, we can go land. Bolt face. Ox. Hold up one mana. They get rid of a hollow one. Sure. To do this. Let's do the ox thing, getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leaving a lightning bolt in the graveyard seems fine. I want to find a. That's not a bolt. Okay. Uh, go to combat. They're forced to get rid of one of the er oh yeah. Yep, they're forced to hit one of our hollow ones. Let's see if they take six, they'll go to three. Ugh, they're still not dead to bolt. Yep. Or they're dead to bolt, but they're not dead to hardcast flame like Phoenix. Oh, they're probably gonna time warp kill us with two thing in the ices. Or time warp kill us with one thing in the ice, sure. Where's a good where's an Ugin's Nexus when you need one? <laughs> There's an opt, all right. So that's not a time warp. Mystic Sanctuary, oh no, all right. They are putting time warp on top. They're gonna cryptic to, no. They're letting us untap. All right, so they're not getting in for seven now. Draw a lightning bolt, nature's claim, ugh. So bloodstain mire. What can we do here? Do we have any more mountains left in our deck? Yeah, we have one, I think. So we go to combat. They flip. And then they're going to time warp. Because if we attack now, they're, yeah, they're, they have to flip. 
Do we get anything if we cast Underworld Breach? We could cast Underworld Breach. No, we can't cast Underworld Breach in Ox. If they decide to take two from Flaming Phoenix for some reason, we could try to Underworld Breach. Lightning Bolt them. Oh, wait, can we Breach Bolt? Oh, we need to Breach Bolt Bolt Bolt, which we have the mana for. This is one, two, three, four, five cards in the graveyard. Ugh. Let's force them to cast their Cryptic Command or whatever. Check with everything. Opt, flip your thing in the ice. Yep. So now, unfortunately, we don't have the ox in our graveyard, which is what we really want. Otherwise, we could go Underworld Breach. Ox, cast Hollow Ones. We could just ca hard cast an Ox. We could go post combat, play Flame Wake Phoenix. Because they're going to time warp us. No, let's just, uh, let's just start getting Oxes. Hard cast an ox. All right, we drew a bolt, which is nice. <clears throat> oh no. All right, we're taking 14. And hope that they don't have multiple fetch lands. Or hope that they don't have a fetch land. If they have, all right, we're dead. Let's make them do it though. Yup. Yup. Yep. Yeah, there wasn't really anything we could do there. Uh, we have no way to answer a thing in the ice, which sucks. But, it's fine. Maybe we are just supposed to be... Black-red? Black-red-green? Yes, I would like to play first. Uh, yeah, this hand's a bit land heavy, but we're supposed to keep. Yeah, we got threat, uh, threat enabler answer. Fetch, mountain. Oh, that was, uh, that's fine. We, we're going to play Stomping Ground next turn. Oh. Ooh. That's a good sign for us. Fucking forgot cave. I would like to pay two life. I would like to gobble more. Oh, no, that's awful. Right, Forgotten Cave is coming in clutch now. <laughs> Making it so it's not a dead draw. <clears throat> Ancient Grudgeons are in the yard, which is nice in case they have a relic. Please don't be thinking the ice. Sorry, we're dead. We're dead. We're not actually dead, but. Ugh. Cycle. <sighs> okay. Let's see if they block or not. Yeah, getting in for that damage. We have one fetchable mountain left. Sure. Oh, Pyroclat. Okay. 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 <laughs> Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Tilt. Uh, 
that was a series of unfortunate draws. Oh well. Alright, maybe we are supposed to be playing black. Or maybe we just concede to Thing in the Ice. I don't remember Thing in- oh. Uh, I don't remember Thing in the Ice being a problem because we always have Fatal Push to deal with it. Uh, maybe we're- oh, okay, okay. Maybe we're playing Dismember in the sideboard. I like that better. Like that a lot better. Okay, play dismembers on the sideboard. What would we be replacing? We'd be replacing an a braid and a blood moon or nature's claim for like two dismember to bring it in this matchup. It's also good against death shadow. That's basically it. We won the die roll, let's go. We gotta turn one burning inquiry with hollow one, let's keep it. <laughs> let's try and stone rain them. Get rid of your lands. Uh, cycle the street race. Alright, not good. Alright, we're against Jund. Or black green rock. Get rid of Vescuz, which is nice. And a Tarmogoyf, which we can't beat. Bring it. No, oh, not Thoughts Eased. Alright, they're holding up Fatal Push or Light Bolt. Uh, let's go get a Basic Mountain. Cast this card into a removal spell. I smell a Tarmogoyf. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Alright, at least we have an answer to Renin 6. That was awful. Runaway Steamkin's just been awful. I would like to play Bee Life, and I would like to cast this Flame Wake Phoenix to kill your Renin 6. <coughs> So far, Underworld Breach and Runaway Steamkin have been, have done nothing in these past, what, five or six matches I've played. Not impressed with it in this build. Um, we don't play Wraths. Just play it. They have like a K command in hand. Has to be Colgan's command. Just go to combat. Attack. Kind of just like running out Steamkin, because we're just fine if this dies. Hold up Lightning Bolt or Cycle Forgotten Cave. Sure, K command, get Scoos back. Kill my thing. Sure. Um, now we go Steamkin. And if they cast Renin, uh, maybe we're sp maybe we were supposed to ca uh, play that tapped. Eh. Inquisition me, come on. It's no fun. Or take my bolt. Okay. Oh, maybe we're supposed to bolt there in case they have a Renin six now. Oh, Lily, sure. Yup. Sacrifice that. Let's cycle this piece of shit. <laughs> That's a street wreath. Uh, we can... Okay, okay. Underworld Reach is fine now. Go cycling. 
Underworld Breach, Burning Inquiry, cast a hollow one. If we find a land, we get to cast a bolt to kill their Liliana. Sure. Um, Burning Inquiry from the graveyard. Exiling one, two, three. Actually, no, we exile just all lands. And it's the Street Wraith. Hail land, please. Yeah, all right. I get to go Bolt, cast Hollow One. Or do we go Greedy and cast an... Oh, wait, no, we get to get back a Flame Wake Phoenix. Oh, yeah, even better. Cast Hollow One for free. Exiling Inquiry... Inqu no, In Inquiry, Steamkin, Street Wraith. No, Goblin Lore, not Inquiry. Alright, alright, Underworld Breach is... Dece. Uh, if this were a hollow one, we would just cast another Burning Inquiry. Uh, no, I think we'd still just go for the 100% get back a Flame Like Phoenix. Okay, no. Attack Lily. Right, so that was sweet. <laughs> That's good for us. Oh. It's fine. Get back a land. Get back a verdant. Get back peatland, sure. Uh six seven alright, we can't win against a six seven goif. Oh, so we get to, like, kill Renin 6? I guess. You know they have a Scooz in hand. We can't fetch or we die in two turns to Tarmogoyf. Maybe they just don't attack with their Tarmogoyf? Go to combat. Activate the thing. Kill Renin 6. I don't see how we can we can deal 10 damage. Play Foothills Pass. Draw a card. No, excuse. A command? Oh, Bloodbraid Elf. Okay, that's gross. Yep. Thoughtseize. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's great. Alright, so they have Lightning Bolt. We kind of just... We know they have... Goose in hand, right? No? What did they... Didn't they get back a Scooze with... Oh, we Burning Inquiry it out of their hand. Okay, so we don't know what's in their hand. I think we just take the damage, so that's 9. Go to 4. Die to Bolt if we fetch, but we kind of need to fetch in order to... 8 damage, so we need to find 4 damage. Hmm. If we find an Underworld Breach, it's lethal. I... Uh, oh, we do... Yeah, we still have basics. So yeah, we don't need to do anything here. Hope to not die to Bolt. If we eventually fetch. Oh wait, no, that's 1, 2, 3, 4... Yeah, okay, we still have basic in our deck. I want a good draw. Breach. A uh, hollow one? <clears throat> like, we attack here. Hard cast hollow one. Die to... Oh, no, we died to the blood breed elf. So we have to cycle this here. Oh, nope, that was... Fuck my life. 
Alright, that was a misclick. I should keep my hand off of the uh, pass priority key. Uh, let's cycle this. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, we're against Jund. Blood Moon is awkward against Jund. Definitely bring in these Ley Line of Sanctities. Um... We don't know what their hate is. It's usually like spell bombs, but sometimes it's ley lines, so you it's kind of funky. Um it's like hedge our bets, bring in nature's claim, nature's claim, ancient no, like three nature's claims. And hope it's not ley line. Seems like okay. Most likely spellbomb. Oh wait, we bring in a braid here. Yeah, let's do this. Five. Bring out union, reunion. Street. Now we. I'm gonna cut these awful things that die to removal. <laughs> that don't pose a threat. Um. Keeping the reunions. Blah. Yeah, we have not gotten the Steamkin Underworld Breach combo set up, but we've been playing against fairly interactive decks. Do it like this? Sure. Maybe it's correct to bring in Blood Moon here. But, like, usually Blood Moon's just there to buy us time. And it just doesn't kill them fast enough. Hmm. Anybody in chat, what would you do? Would you bring in Blood Moons here? Because we're already bringing in these. Don't really want to bring in anything else. Let's be on the play. And let's... This hand gets, like, donked on by Thoughtseize. It just doesn't do anything if we get thought seized. And we have Leyline in our deck, so we're. Yeah, I think we're incentivized to mulligan this, unfortunately. Oh, God. Not great. We're on the play, so we have like one draw step to find a land. No. Okay. Sure, turn one, hollow one, and cry. One, two, three, done. Hope these are all hollow ones. Oh, okay, this hand got a lot better. Actually, no, it didn't. Because we can only cast one hollow one. Fuck. <laughs> Never mind. I got excited for no reason. Thoughtseize, yep. Take this one, please. Aww, okay. Let's just hope that they can't deal with a turn one four four. Narrator. Didn't work. I'm just gonna K command us on turn three. Or abrade us now. Ooh, okay, okay. We're one turn closer to casting a Flame Phoenix. Inquisition me. Yes! Yes! They have to take one! <laughs> Got him! Woo! <gasps> we take those. We take those. <laughs> Uh, Bloodman? Bloodman? Anybody? Well, we didn't see Leyline. They didn't mulligan. And they couldn't deal with a hollow one on turn one.
We're on the draw, so Blood Moon's not as good. Yeah, let's just, just keep it. Keep it as it is. Didn't see our hate. Or didn't see their hate. His hand is... Ugh. Not good. Yeah, let's mulligan this. If we had, like, if this were an enabler, we'd definitely keep it. But the fact that, like, we'll get thoughts used on turn one, it'll take, like, our only, like, playable card is we're just not keeping this. <sighs> this hand has interaction. It's essentially thought seize proof. They go land, fetch, thought seize, take lightning bolt. We can't lightning bolt their tarmor belief. Which sucks. Oh, uh, Dismember kills Tarmogoyf sometimes. That's another reason to play it. I, th I think we have to keep this. It's like, Molia getting into 5 against Jund is awful. Bottom a Lightning Bolt? Or bottom this Forgotten Cave? Probably just bottom a Bolt. Seems fine. Like, cycle this maybe turn 1? Shock Thoughtsies, please. Yeah, getting them down to 15. Taking our bolt. Ooh. Hmm. Lightning Bolt doesn't kill Tarmogoyf anyway, so let's try to kill Tarmogoyf for their burning inquiry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we just, we don't need the green yet. Burning Inquiry. Hi, oh no. Oh no, well, hopefully we took them off their lands. And cry, because we drew our light line. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck, yep. Okay. Okay. That's that's good. Um It's just fetch basic goblin lore. Hope to discard this ley line of sanctity and get playable cards. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Hopefully they don't have any more lands. Hopefully we kept them off red. Thought sees us. Take our flame blade adept. Sure. Ugh, 5-6, because we put an enchantment in the bin. Yeah, our, I don't think our deck in its current iteration can beat. Maybe we sh should be splashing black for Fatal Push. And Thought Season the board. Oh, do they have land? Yeah, they have more hand hate. Yep. Okay. Collect. Oh, scavenging is gross. We're dead. We don't even want a flame blade adept here. We kind of just like goblin lore, hope to hit a hollow one, play a land, get a phoenix back. I guess is what we're going for right now. Sure, cycle. Play Flame Blade Adept, Chump, die. <sighs> oh, 4. Alright, let's play. Get some more. Get some more reps. Eugh. This is not where we want to be. Not where we want to be. Alright. I think this deck is fine if we just take out the. Take out this. Take out the cathartic reunions. Ugh. Yeah, I'm liking my version better. Just like, uh, yeah. Like this for Hollow Breach, but we can just. Hmm. Like, take out these. Maybe leave the cathartic reunions in. Like, replace Steamkins with Bloodgasts, play Black so we can, like, play Angler too, but Angler and Ox of Agonis is kind of a nombo. 
we're going that deep, we can cut the blood moons, replace them with like fatal push. Copy. Be two. We'd cut like one cathartic. We would cut like maybe we keep like two breaches. Breach push bushwhacker seems fine. We can play. Get rid of these blood moons. Maybe take out the ley line of sanctities in the board. Play. Oh, I don't have any blood gas on this account, but we would be playing uh, Gurmag, Gurmag Angler. Pretty sure I have those. Like three Gurmags. We won the die roll. All right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it. We have a terminal enabler. Things we want to put in the bin. Interaction. This is like not. Not amazing, but turn on the play burning inquiry, you almost always keep it. Not that one. Nope, not that one. This one. Oh no, discarded two hollow ones. No! Oh my god, the odds of that. No! <laughs> okay. Oh, we're against Valakut. Okay. So we're already dead. We need a really aggressive hand against them. And discarding two hollow ones is... real bad. Razor, sure. So we're pro Is that what they got off? Yeah, that's what they got off one spawn time. Sure. All right, plan is to cast this Underworld Breach, Burning Inquiry, cast two hollow. Ooh. All right, this is the matchup where Runaway Steamkin is good, I think. So unless they, it's like a bolt check, essentially. And then next turn we get to go land. That's one counter, two counters, and that's all of our mana. Ooh. I mean, I think we're still doing it. So we burning inquiry that puts. Yeah, we should have enough to put all the ones into play. Even if this gets killed. Maybe? Oh, uh, we might only have enough for one hollow one. All right, that's scary. I I think we're probably just dead. Although they didn't kill Steamkin. Also, not having like a Grape Shot or Thassa's Oracle in the deck really like stifles this combo. So it's just like value Underworld Breach. Hmm. Right now, what are they doing? Waiting on their main, second main phase tapped out. Can we bolt them out with, no, I don't think we can bolt them out with Underworld Breach.
All right, I guess we're just playing the wait the waiting game. Playing the maybe they disconnected. That's not how we want to get our win. All right, so next turn we'll play this fetch. We'll have one, two, th so we'll have one, two, three cards in our graveyard to exile for the first burning inquiry. Then we'll have one plus the th plus uh, three cards that we put in our bin. No mana left, so we'll have three, four, five cards. So we, yeah, we can only get one hollow one, unless we find like a street wraith off of Burning Inquiry or our draw step. All right, what if we're not Underworld Breaching? What if we are casting a Lightning Bolt? Let's see, so next turn, let's see. Swamp Island Forest Mountain Plains. All right, <clears throat> what are we doing? Flame Blade Adept. Doesn't quite help. Like maybe we go Adept, Bolt. Or Adept, Attack for two. Bolt face to either kill the Grazer or if they block with Dryad. No, they're not going to block with Dryad. Can't really get this Dryad out. Bolt face. Let's see, so they need at least five other mountains. One, two, three, four. So they get to play land drop, five. And then anything that they use, exp like explore kills us or if they have one, two, three, four, yeah they need like an extra no they do have an extra land drop so they get to bolt something anyways and then if they have scape shift they're dead so this is really awkward guess they're just Underworld breaching, and then hoping to get another underworld breach. Oh, this deck is bad. Hope they don't have enough lands. Because we go. Can't underworld breach and get the mana to cast. to get counters on this, which is what we really need. just do it anyways probably our best bet try to find like cycle four street race or something cast underworld breach cast burning inquiry thing a red exiling 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 Uh, three, yeah, three hollow ones in the in the bin, but we can't like we can only cast one of them. So cast one, exiling one, two, three, and we don't get the trigger from this, right? Yeah, so we have to take out another hollow one, I guess. Can't trigger that. Attack for three. See if they block or not. Sure. Get rid of their guy. Pass the turn, lose the game. We also didn't keep an aggressive hand. But I don't think this hand would win a, in like a grindy game anyways. Alright, they get Titan.
Can they cast the Titan? Yes, they can. Four. Make six mana? Yes, they can. Yep, we're dead. Well, Blood Moons are good. Um, Sanctity is good enough. We bring in the Ancient Grudges for the... Um, And a nature's claim. Wow, this is this is a lot. Bring in this for damping sphere, relic. Yeah, we have a lot for this matchup. Uh, the one nature's claim for just as another answer to the other things. Um, what are we cutting? We don't really need these bolts. Um, steamkins are great. Cathartic Green, Ugh, Cathartic Green is just so bad in this deck. I have, like, not actively wanted to cast it at all. Take out... And this deck is just, like, not fully utilizing the power of Ox. Take out Phoenix, take out a Street Wraith, I guess. Take, no, take out a Bushwhacker. No. It's good when we're comboing, but like, I don't think we can reliably combo with this. Yeah, just take out Street Wraith. Try it like this. <laughs> Beyond the play. Uh, oh. We're gonna keep, just because we have turn one add up, turn two Steamkin, but this is really not looking good, and that we also have Underworld Breach. Like, we just need an enabler. If any of if these were, like, enablers, this hand would be, like, the nuts. Let's see, is this turn one relic? Oh, don't do the thing, opponent. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Don't F6 through your turn. Ooh! Alright. Uh, we're just gonna get this Steamkin into play. We're gonna go below 18. Or we're gonna go below 19, which is usually where you want to be against the Valakut deck. Because then they can't just scapeshift you, but I don't think it matters anymore with Dryad. Because they now always have a Prismatic Omen. And it's just like a shit ton of damage. Yeah, I don't think it matters anymore. Once upon a time. Yep. Steve, sure. Steve can't block Flame Blade Adept. Which is the important part. Sure, let's cast this. Hit a land, keep an underworld breach. Exactly what we wanted. Uh, use this to get an extra counter? No, I don't think that's good enough. Well, hmm. No, because then when we cast Underworld Breach next turn, then we'll have the mana from one way Steamkin. And we can Goblin Lore again. And we kept both Oxes, which is awkward. Ugh, then we get blown out by Anger of the Gods. That's real gross. I mean, we get blown out by Anger of the Gods anyways. So let's just get an extra counter on Runway Steamkin. Cast it. <clears throat> Let's hope they don't block. <laughs> Let's hope they block and don't sack. Yep. 
do they could they did the thing. Yep. Alright, now we pray for no anger of the gods. No anger of the gods. Don't anger me, bro. Okay. Whew. No anger of the gods. Cool. Land. Steam. Okay, so we go Steamkin, get three mana from Steamkin. So then we all have four mana. Cast Underworld Breach. Put two counter, or get one counter. Cast Goblin Lord, put two counters. Don't want need another red spell. If we hit, no. We're supposed to go Underworld Breach, Goblin Lore. <clears throat> and then probably cast an Ox, hopefully. Hope they don't have a Nature's Claim. Remove some counters. Oh, this is a... Oh, it's a mana ability, lol. <laughs> uh, let's... Goblin lore. Exiling one, two, three. Put counters on... Put a counter on Steamkin. <laughs> we kept the oxes again? Okay. All right, we got two flame blade adepts in the bin. Unfortunately, we already cast our bushwhacker. We can't give him haste, but this is enough to get more mana from Steamkin. Is that worth it? Rather than just goblin lowering it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we only have enough cards in our graveyard for. <clears throat> Cast one spell from a graveyard? Ugh. This is so awkward. Cast Flame Blade Adept, Flame Blade Adept, hope that they can't answer us. Cast another Steamkin? Ugh. This is bad. Let's just goblin lore, hope to find a land. And or some hollow ones. Tag for a bunch with this adept. Or land burning uh Hey there's a oh, we don't have a land though. Even though we discarded the oxes. We do have Blood Moon, which is nice. Alright, go to combat. Attack with everything. <coughs> it's gonna block here, take eight. Then we're probably gonna die. So is the life of Hollow One. Stop this ad. Sacrifice Underworld Breach. Yep. See, are we dead? Six mana. Titan. Yep. Titan gets Field of the Dead. See, so they only have two mountains. So it doesn't get to bolt anything, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. It makes four zombies. Sure. We're at seven, though. We get to untap with the steam can. Nature Grudge? That doesn't do anything. Um. We get to go Underworld Breach. Goblin lore. Ugh, we need... Oh, we have a burning... Okay, we have a burning inquiry now, that's good. So we go Underworld Breach, remove a counter, that's four mana. 
Burning Inquiry. We're then able to cast Burning Inquiry a few times. Uh, let's just do this and see how far we can get. <laughs> see if we can cast bolts on these zombies eventually. We have three counters. Cast a Burning Inquiry. Uh, cast a Burning Inquiry, Exiling, Steamkin, Adept, Nature's Claim, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. Cast Inquiry. One, two, three. Done. All right, this is this is this is what the deck's supposed to do. All right, there's a hollow one. Uh, let's just cast it, I guess. Let's cast a burning inquiry, exiling, breach, blood moon, stomping ground, done. Put a counter. <coughs> So yeah, now we can basically just cast Burning Inquiry at all the times. Uh, do we have enough to just Lightning Bolt them three times? We might. One, two, three. So we have 12, which is three, six, nine. Plus, so yeah, we can just Lightning Bolt them three times. Cool. One, two, three. Lightning bolt you, exhaling one, two, three, done. Lightning bolt you, exhaling one, two, three. Cool, we won a game. Sweet. <laughs> Maybe we should just be playing Lightning Bolt in our uh, in our other versions. <laughs> um, Late Line of Sanctity is still coming? Question mark. Hmm. Oh, those are only Lightning Bolt. That's hilarious. Um. Cut a Nature's Claim for a Bolt. Sure, it's probably wrong. Almost definitely wrong. Just keep it as is. Try and mill our deck until we hit a lightning bolt again, if we ever set up that combo. Sure, and just stick with yeah, stick with the way we sideboarded. <clears throat> This is Blood Moon on turn three. Is that good enough? <laughs> Probably not. And they get to like cast a Titan on turn four and hit us with a six six. <laughs> Can Mulligan for Leyline? Yeah, we need to get an aggress more aggressive hand. All right, yeah, sands, sands great. Keep. Bottom is stomping ground. Start off with a ley line of sanctity in play. We'll have two flame plate adepts. Maybe we're just supposed to take this out since we know that they have field of the dead. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that was better. Maybe the maybe bolts are better than these. <laughs> Maybe. No, the spy is just a turn if we're trying to combo off with Steamkin, I guess. Razor, yep. Is that what they. Yeah, that's what they found. Put in Valkyrie, yep. Let's 
go fetch a basic adept. Hero. Yup, that's pretty good. Now they're able to block my flame blade adept. Grudge. Alright, now we just go get the stomping ground. Pay two life. Go to combat. See if they just don't block. Let's see if they figure it out. Damn, they figured it out. Should have ordered him differently in case he didn't sack, but... Eh. Play Steamkin. Pass the turn. Probably die. He got a basic forest, so he's probably just on the Field of the Dead plan. Let's see, one, two, three, four, land, summoner's pack to get the Titan, cast the Titan, we're dead. Yeah, we don't have any way to, like, get counters on this, we're dead. He got an extra turn with this Oriole Grazer. Yup. All right, they got fetch lands. Okay, so they probably have dryad in hand. So they'll cast dryad, fetch, fetch, shoot us, shoot us. See if we can win. Hollow one. No way to draw out of it. Yeah, let's concede. All right, O five. This deck felt awful. <laughs> um, changes that we're gonna make. We are going to. Uh, this was the this was the list we were playing. We're gonna cut the cathartic reunions. The steamkins and underworld breach just don't really fit into this shell very well. Like only I think two times in what seven eight matches where it felt like relevant and it was only it only won us one uh, one game in a match. Um. Maybe we're, we might supposed to take out the Leyland of Sanctities in the sideboard. Uh, I'm not sure about that yet. Um, yeah, if so, if we were to make a new list, it would probably... I don't think I have Bug Guest on here. Maybe I do? No, I don't. Alright. Um, so I think we'd be playing four Blood Guests. Maybe take a bolt out of the main deck or this bushwhacker to play four blood ghasts. Um, take out this forgotten cave, which was awful. Play a mountain. Take play a mountain. Um, maybe we go up an extra land. We're probably supposed to play another ox. Because I think the shell of Flameblade Adept with Flame Wake Phoenix and Hollow Ones is probably just good enough. Alright, yeah, we cut cut the reunions, play another Ox. Play another Ox, 
play this bolt. Play four blood ghasts. Uh, I think that's where I want to be. In the sideboard, we'll play fatal pushes and thought seizes. So we'll play three fatal push, two thought seize instead of the ley lines. Uh, mana base we would change up. We would go take out a stomping ground, take out a mountain, play blood grips. Um, we, oh right, we, we're playing Angler now, so now we have to ask the question of, are we playing Black Leaf Cliffs? We kind of want to, but like, we need to power out, like, maybe we're not supposed to play four ox. We want to power out these oxes, and like, we need to like, fuel our graveyard with it. Maybe we're supposed to take out these, un like, yeah, Underworld Breach just doesn't seem good here. It's like, Underworld Breach is three mana, get cast hollow ones from the graveyard. Oh, maybe that's good enough, just like as a two of. Hmm. Yeah, maybe three angler, three ox is where we want to be. Here, let me go and grab a bunch of cards from Card Hoarder. <laughs> Let's see, I think I can get some more. How many do I have on my loan? How much more money do I have on my loan program right now? 42. So I can go and get Blood Gas. We don't, we definitely don't have enough for, uh, what's it called? Oh, we have enough for four Blood Gas. We don't have enough for Thought Seizes. Um, what else did we need? We needed Fatal Push. One, two, three, four. Um, how much are Thought Seizes? Maybe we have enough for two Thought Seizes. Lauren Thought Seizes is 17. So that's 49. Oh no, 52 ticks. Let's see, is there anything I can return? Yeah, I can return the Misha's baubles that I'm not using anymore. Uh, yeah, let me. I need to stop the um, OBS 